Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day. So for today, we are ready, set, researching, okay? So you're continuing to work on your timeline project. We want you to begin researching interesting world national events that have occurred during your lifetime, okay? And remember, national events are things that happened in our nation, the United States. So that is um, the goal. You only need, remember, five world events. So there's 10 events total, but five of them are world or national events. We want you to be encouraged to ask adults or family members for ideas. Really think as original as you can, okay? So you can ask um, someone at home for ideas. If you can't think of anything else, then maybe they can give you a little bit more of a brainstorm on what to do. But you'll have class today to search online and think of five um, world or national events that you want to add to your timeline project, okay? So let me, let me show you what that's going to look like. It's going to be very simple. So you're going to go to your Google Slides presentation that you've started, that you've created and hopefully saved, okay? So you're going to begin your list on the Google Slides presentation. Just add a slide and it's not going to stay there forever, but it's just a way for us to track how you're doing. So it can be very simple bullet pointed list. You can have one, two, three, four, five, whatever you feel like is the most organized for you. So for your five national or world events, it could look like this. You could have a natural disaster on there, um, a president that was elected during your lifetime, a video game or movie release, maybe some piece of technology, something that was invented during your lifetime that would be significant um, for us to understand, um, or a famous event. So something you remember seeing on the news, okay? And I'll show you my example if that's, and that will be really helpful for you. Okay, so this is for your five national or world events. And then next, you're going to also be brainstorming your five personal events. Okay, so what could this look like? Well, it could be when you lost your first tooth. Uh, maybe a sibling was born. Did you move houses or did you transfer schools? That would be something interesting for us to know. So you're thinking about what do you want your classmates and teachers to know about you? Remember, you only need five personal events. We want you to add pictures with these personal events. So kind of be thinking too, what do I have pictures of? Um, what does mom or dad have at home or grandma or grandpa that I can add to this to make it a little more fun and easier for me to describe? So here's a picture of myself doing high jump in track. Does anyone know what high jump is? It kind of looks like this. So there's a pole and you're supposed to jump over it backwards. Now, as you can see, I did not clear the pole, but this was significant for me because I was, number one, scared to do it, but I did it anyway, so it was good. And two, it was the first time I'd ever been to a track meet. So this could be an example of something you add, uh, maybe just something you did for the first time. This is going to look the same way. You're going to begin your list on your Google Slides presentation again. It can be simple. This is the example. So I have five bullet points here. And if you notice, I have blanks because everyone is going to have different personal events. No one's going to be the same. So you're going to fill in your own information into these potentially if you want to use these. So this one says my little sibling blank was born. So for me, it could be Allie, Kelsey, or Bradley. Those are all of my little siblings. For you, it will be someone else. Um, this one started school at, now we're all at Mona Shores Middle School, but maybe you came from a different school, so you wanted to add that. Um, this one played the sport blank for the first time. Now my example was track and field, but maybe yours is different. Maybe it's baseball or soccer, or volleyball, basketball, something like that. This one fell down the stairs and broke my blank. Now this one actually is personal. I fell down the stairs and broke my left arm when I was young. And then actually I jumped off my desk at home and broke my left arm again. So maybe some of you are like me and like to break your arm multiple times, but hopefully not. Um, and then the last one, I was born in the city of blank. So maybe you were born somewhere unique, um, or maybe you were born in Grand Rapids like me, and you wanted to add that to your presentation, okay? 
So that's what it's going to look like. Very simple. Now this last slide is very important. So listen carefully. Don't stress. You will have work days during class to add pictures and make your presentation clean and neat. So today what we want you to do is focus on researching your world and national events. And number two, focus on brainstorming personal events that mean a lot to you. We want to see that you have 10 events that you're going to be adding and making each with their own slide. We just want to see that you're working hard and that you have your 10 events um, and ideas set. Okay. So that's what you're working on today. Think about how you can describe each event briefly. A uh, one sentence statement for each event. That's number three down here, if you can see that. So for me, when I did my presentation, each event, I kind of said a, a brief one sentence um, little description about the picture or about something I remember from that event. So be thinking through that as well. Let's go over to my presentation quick and I'll give you an example. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning here. Here's my title slide. And then for my next slide, it jumps right in, okay? So 1998, this is the first event chronologically of my timeline. And this is my personal, one of my personal events. I moved into my parents' current house, okay? And then in my presentation, I describe the picture. And then my next event is my first national event, which is from 2001. So chronologically, this is the next one that follows. And that's on the 9-11 terrorist attack. So I have two pictures here. You can add as many pictures as you like. Just remember that we want this to be a very clean and neat presentation. And you don't have a lot of time on each slide to describe it. All right. So then we have Hurricane Katrina. And then here's another personal event. I have two pictures of my little brother. Okay. Hopefully that helps you out. Um, thanks for paying attention so well. And yeah, we're looking forward to seeing your timeline projects.